guys, this is Megan Hilt, and this is a Valentine's Day collab video. It is actually specifically called the $10 Valentine's Day Date Night Swap and Challenge. That's a mouthful. Um, so this is a collab with Bethany Summer specifically, but Zany Laney and Lydia Dickinson are also involved too, so they swapped and have videos too. So what we did is we picked out $10 of makeup for our collab partner. So I picked out $10 of makeup for Bethany and she picked out $10 of makeup for me and we're going to use that makeup to make an affordable Valentine's Day date night look. So that's the challenge part. So I have nothing on my face, nothing at all. And now I've washed it just recently because I had taken a nap. I don't feel too good. So if my voice sounds like icky, that's, that's why. So I washed my face and now we're going to check out some of the stuff. And I did open this box already because I just was excited. So that's what happened. In here is one of the NYC BB Cream 5-in-1 Instant Matte Skin Perfectors in light. So there's that. The Silent Treats Mint Wet n Wild Palette. The Volume Flash Scandalized Waterproof Mascara by, Mas Mascara by Rimmel London. The Best Liner for Brow and Eye by Jordana, this like giant eyeliner that doesn't fit in frame, it's so big. The Master Glaze by Face Studio Blush Stick in Just Pinched Pink. I've been wanting to try one of these for a while. And then the two lip products. So the first one is the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in Tease. Tease Seduce. And the second one is the Maybelline New York. What are you called? The Elixir in Signature Scarlet. So. <clears throat> let's make a face look. So I'm not sure if we're using brushes or not for this challenge. Um, I'm going to, guys, and if you didn't, oopsie, but don't know. So here we go. Let's take the NYC BB Cream in light and I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. I'm going to use my stapling brush because I haven't used that in a long time. I should get a mirror. Give me a second. Better. <laughs> going to staple that onto my face in the mirror. Whoop. This part's not going to be very interesting. <laughs> so let's do the eyes. I'm going to take out these little brushy doodles because, to be honest, who uses those? I'm only going to use two brushes though. I'm only going to use two brushes. Mm. So let's take this brow bone color on the top. And again, this is a Wet n Wild palette in Silent Treatment. Silent Treatment. <laughs> it's like an anti-Valentine's Day name. Because you know you're going out on dates and it's called Silent Treatment. It's good. Passive-aggressive Valentine's Day. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this up pretty far. Hopefully you can guys can see the difference. Are you close enough to my face now? Are you close enough? <laughs> Don't mind the brows. They're just a hot mess because they're growing back out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the inner corner now so I don't forget. But I'm going to take that significantly up towards the brows. Okay, looking good. There's what we got so far. Next up, let us take this. Oh, you can't see it because it's out of frame. <laughs> okay, see this right here? We're gonna take the crease color. 
we're going to put it on our eyebrows. I'm just kidding. We're going to put it in our crease. Thank you, Wet and Love, for telling me where to put it. I would not have known. No, sometimes I don't. So here we go. Crease color. Gonna put you in the crease. And blend you up a smidgen. And blend you a little bit. To make you a crease color. Oh, yeah. That's the crease color song. Okay. Well, I obviously didn't grab much powder. <laughs> there we go. Crease. Doing my other crease. Come on. Pick up a little higher on this side. Because um, my eyes are hooded, I like to pull my shadow, my crease color, up a little bit. So, like, I take them, like, one step above my crease. So I do it in the crease, but then I take it one step above so that when my eyes are normal, that you, you know, you can see the crease color still. Okay. That's what I got so far. Now, let's take a different brush. And we're going to put on this bottom color right there. It's an eyelid. We're going to put that on our eyelid. Some of this giant eyeliner. I've actually been wanting to try one of these for the longest time because they're ginormous and big and I mean it's like look at that. Look at that. This is it next to my like face. Do you see that? It's insanely big. And I think it's decently cheap. I think it's like 99 cents. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um I think I'm gonna put that on my upper lash line. Hold on. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to do my lower lash line because I'm trying to do a softer Valentine's date night look and not a smoldering one. Just because that's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, so let's put on... Look how horribly chat my lips are. Let's put on our mascara. Wow, this really separates the lashes. I mean, come on now. Wow. This might be good to use in conjunction with another mascara because it's really separating the lashes like amazingly well instead of clumping them up. Okay, I'm going to let that first coat dry and then I'm going to do the bottom and put on another coat. But do you guys just see how separated they are? Do you guys see that? That's impressive. <clears throat> okay, I don't know how to do this blush, so let's back the camera up. Ooh, hello. And this is just pinched pink. And I had been looking at these blushes, because I don't usually go for cream blushes, but something about these blushes, man, they just look amazing. So, I don't know how to do this. Guess I'm just going to put it on like that. And then just, I don't know. Is this what you do? I don't know. Ooh, I got mascara right there. Oh no. There you go. Okay. Well, that was easy to blend. Guess I just do the other side. Right? Did I do that right, everyone? Please tell me if I did. <laughs> Let's go back and put back on another coat of mascara and do the bottom lashes. Because those are important since I left out my um, waterline eyeliner. I think I am going to put some on the lower lash line to try to correct my mistake. <laughs> so let me go back in. Okay, guys, we have three possible lip looks we could do. Even though she sent me two, there's three options. One, we could take this just pinched pink and put it on our lips. So 
There's the first option. You want to go for like a neutral kind of lip. The second option is this red. And this is called Signature Scarlet, right? Yes. So that's the second option, is this red. So that's the second option. I personally think it's very pretty, so it's a close-up. And the third lip option is the Revlon Color Burst. And this would be the one that I would personally go with because I love me some Revlon Color Bursts. And this one is in Tease. Yes, Tease. And I love the color. I think it's beautiful. So this is my <clears throat> super affordable date night look for Valentine's Day. All of these products that I used, Bethany purchased for under $10. So everything. So you can get some good makeup for affordable prices. If you look, there are some good deals available for you. So don't think just because everyone is using... Um, the new Urban Decay palette or something in their makeup tutorials for Valentine's Day that you need to purchase that too or you know why should I even try because I can't afford that you can go out to Walmart and you can get some great brands for affordable prices and still have a pretty decent makeup look um, I messed up a couple places but I tried I like it I especially like the cheek color so this is my finished look. I will link Bethany's channel and Bethany's video below. Hope you guys have a fabulous Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching, and this is Megan Hilt out.